Hello, my name is Craig with Advanced Treatment Technologies. Today we want to go over uh, replacing a salt bridge in our uh, Aquar Metrics um, ORP probes. Uh, we have two types of probes here. We have our blue, our blue probes and also our gray probes. There's not much difference in them. Um, uh, just very minimal uh, differences in them as far as mounting and stuff, but they're basically the same thing. They do, uh, however, have different uh, salt bridge kits. So the red is for the gray probe and the black is for the uh, the blue probe. So you definitely want to keep those separate. Um, first things first, I'm going to take out my probe. This is the one that needs the salt bridge. I rebuilt in it. I'm going to take my cap off. Right here. To complete this this change out here, I got some pliers and a uh, Phillips head screwdriver. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna um, unscrew this counterclockwise. Um, you'll hear the seal give way, uh, release the pressure, and then it's about hand tight about that point. One thing you want to be careful of is this glass bowl right here, this bulb. If this thing were to shatter, uh, the probe is, is ruined. So you have to replace the whole probe if that glass gets broken. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my salt bridge. All right, you see there is uh, quite a bit of wear to it. Um, the new one should be clear. Um, as you see, the, uh, there has been some uh, effects to treating water that's caused the salt bridge to, uh, to go bad. Um, inside here, there is liquid steel, so we just want to dump that out. So now we have an empty chamber. Okay. So we're going to take one of our vials here. Now what we're gonna do here is uh, flush that chamber. So I'm gonna pour in there. We'll shake it around just a little bit. All right. We're gonna discard that. Okay. We're gonna take our other vial. Now this, this step right here is probably one of the most important steps. You do not want to put too much solution into your chamber so i want my solution to come up to the to the bottom of those threads inside that chamber there generally i'll have about an eighth or a quarter inch of solution left over in my vial when i've got the right level inside the chamber so i'm just going to pour and i am right there Oops, a little bit more right there so that's about what I have left. And you can see inside, it should be just right below your threads. So we'll take our new salt bridge and we will make it apart here. You can see the difference in your salt bridges. Okay. The next step is just simply just put this in, put your salt bridge into the chamber. All right. Then we'll take our needle nose and gently screw that salt bridge back in. You don't want uh, water to be, uh, uh, or the solution to be spewing out, because um, you want those rubber O-rings to um, seal correctly. All the way down. 
one more little turn about right there and that's what it'll look like so now we'll go over and put it in our system um, hook our connector up and uh, actually before we do that we're going to put it in some uh, calibration solution we're going to hook our connector up and we're going to go ahead and calibrate it to our to our program in our system So we're back. Um, I have the uh, the probe here that I replaced the salt bridge on. Um, now I have some 470 um, um, ORP uh, calibration uh, solution. I've got it uh, poured into my end cap here. And now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna set my probe inside that solution there. <clears throat> I have my probe hooked up to my panel in the correct uh, correct uh, port. I also have my switch here. It's turned to zero to a thousand, which is the scaling that we want. Um, up here up top, you can see it's already pretty much settled in to where it wants to go. If I go to this first page of settings, this is where I calibrate. So we're using 470 millivolt solution here. If I hit that calibrate button, it's going to change my offset to make this 470. All right, generally you want to sit there and watch your raw value. All right, it'll, it'll climb or sometimes it'll fall. You just have to let it settle. Well, it looks like this one's uh, settled pretty good. Uh, you might have to continue to hit that calibrate to get it to stay on 70 because it will slowly uh, move up or down um, just depending on your probe. So after about five or 10 minutes of, uh, <clears throat> of stabilizing, uh, you should be good to go. Just hit it a couple more times after that just to verify 470. And uh, you now have a probe that's uh, calibrated correctly. So now I'm going to um, take my probe out of the solution. I'm going to um, stick it into the uh, system. I'm going to make sure my ball valves are turned, turned back the way they're supposed to, and now I'm ready for uh, regular operation. So, so uh, with this video, we uh, we've replaced the salt bridge, we've calibrated the probe, and uh, it's back in, it's back ready for for service. So. Um, just to reiterate, the blue and the gray probes, um, the replacement of the saw brick is very uh, similar, uh, close to the same thing. So uh, what works with the gray will work with the, the blue as well as far as procedures. Um, just make sure that the red uh, saw bridge goes with the gray probe. And then the gray or the uh, black replacement saw bridge goes with the blue probe. So that's some of the things that we do. Hope this helps everybody out as far as calibrating your probes and uh, until next time thank you very much <laughs>